Hey guys, Stephanie with americamuscle.com here with the SR Performance Sway Bar Kit for 2015 and up S550 Mustangs. In this video we're going to be discussing a few different things with this sway bar kit, but mostly we'll be talking about the materials and construction of the sway bars and the install. I'll get more into the install later, but I'll tell you right now that this is an easy install. I'm going to call it a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. The SR Performance Sway Bar Kit is going to be a good option for someone that's looking to improve their handling for their S550 with one purchase that's also budget friendly. Sway bars have a big impact on the handling of the S550 or any Mustang, and so they tend to be one of the most cost effective handling upgrades. They provide a lot of benefits such as less body roll for better all around handling which is great news for the S550 chassis and they aren't as expensive as other suspension mods. The way sway bars work isn't complicated. During normal driving and cornering the suspension is going to compress and decompress. The sway bar counteracts this compression and decompression. The weight transfer during cornering creates a twisting force in the sway bar so the sway bar creates a lifting force on the outside control arm in order to give you a flatter handling experience. There are a few things that affect how much an impact a sway bar has. The thickness of the bar and its composition are going to play a big role, and these bars from SR Performance are solid aircraft grade steel. This means that they're going to be very strong, but the flip side of that is that they are going to be a little bit heavy, or at least heavy compared to a tubular bar. If you don't want the weight, there are other kits out there that you can check out. But if you aren't trying to cut weight, then solid bars like these are very strong, like I mentioned earlier. And as far as sizes, the front bar is 35mm and the rear bar is 22mm, which are both upgrades over the factory bars. These are also powder coated black, so they're going to have corrosion resistance as well. Another factor that's going to affect how well a sway bar works is the geometry of the bar. So the sway bar has bends in different angles, but the key is going to be the length of the lever arm, which is this part right here. Both of these bars are three-way adjustable. You can see your adjustment points right here. And having these bars be three-way adjustable means that you have a longer lever arm. Depending on how you adjust the bar on install, you're changing the geometry of the bar. The shorter the lever arm is, the greater torque and more force that the bar will have. And that's what you're adjusting when you're moving between the holes here. The amount of force and torque that will be applied to that outside control arm in order to decompress the outside suspension. The bushing is also going to affect the sway bar. These bars come with polyurethane bushings, which is going to be a good option for a street car. Poly bushings are more rigid than the factory soft rubber bushings, but they aren't too rigid to stop all movement. The more rigid the bushings are, the more rigid the bars will be because they'll not be allowed to move as much. The last thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to sway bar effectiveness is that suspension travel is going to affect the sway bar. When I say suspension travel, I'm mostly referring to spring rates. The sway bars and the springs are going to work very closely together, like all suspension parts do. So if or when you shop for springs, or if you already have a set of springs, just keep your sway bars in mind. The basic rule of thumb is that sway bar thickness should increase as static spring rates increase, and vice versa. When it comes to fitment, these sway bars are going to work on all 2015 and up Mustangs, including the coupes and convertibles, the GT, the V6, and the EcoBoost models. As far as price, you're looking at spending between $400 and $500 for this kit, which is relatively close to the other options on the site, which include Ford Racing and BMR. The other options on the site do have different materials or different adjustability or different thicknesses, so just make sure you're shopping in the range of materials, thickness, and adjustability that you need for your setup and how you want your car to perform. The install for these sway bars is not difficult at all, and you're looking at spending about two hours to get it done and a one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. You need a handful of different tools, but nothing crazy, and as usual, a lift would really help here, but the job can be done on jack stands if you don't have access to one. Your old sway bars are going to need to be removed, but that's just a few bolts. And I'd recommend greasing any new bushings well prior to the install, since waiting until after everything is installed will just make that process much more difficult. I'd grease the bushings as much as possible, since poly bushings can be a little bit noisy after a short period of time. Getting the factory sway bars out is really only a few bolts. You might need to pop out your airbox to get to some of the bolts for the front sway bar, but the majority of the bolts can be removed from reaching down through the engine bay, except for the end link bolts, of course. Then you just have to maneuver your old bar out, which can get a little bit tricky, but it just takes a little bit of time. The rear bar is a little bit easier to get to. You can get to all the bolts from below the car. Just remove the end links and the bolts in the brackets that hold the bar to the subframe and sneak the bar out from below the car. The new bars installed the same way that the old bars came out, so there's no surprises there. You just need to figure out your adjustment points and how you want the car set up. 
Wrapping things up here, the SR Performance Sway Bar Kit includes a front and rear adjustable bar that are solid in design and thicker in diameter than the factory bars for more rigidity. This kit's made to help with cornering handling by keeping the suspension flat and even, and you can check it out more online right here at americamuscle.com.